Hello, Dazzle! How you doing? Welcome! Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm glad you're here. Oh, so today, today is Dark Souls. <laughs> so yeah, today, today I am going to be going back into the catacombs. I guess I'm still technically in the catacombs because that's where we saved. Um, but we're returning to the catacombs and... Um, Facing the dead, and hopefully I won't be dead. Um, and yeah, yeah, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna see how that adventure goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, lots of yang, because I'm not confident that there won't be much dying, because that's kind of what happens when I play this game. There's always much dying. <laughs> it's just. Just the way that it goes. And hi, Matt. How you doing? Welcome. And you have uh, offered up the first zebra cake to the, to the I guess, the hungry little piggies over here. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Massa. How you doing? And welcome to the Dazzle. I've got this. Well, <laughs> I hope so. I don't even know what's in the catacombs, but if it's anything like any of the other areas, there's going to be some big nasty boss that's going to kick my butt. Hi, Warped! Alright, let's get this, uh, adventure loaded up and running. <laughs> With any luck, the murder hobo princess will be able to join me and, uh, It'll go a little bit smoother. Because it always goes smoother when you have a partner. Oh. Oh. I, I, I think I heard a hobo princess. Hi. How you doing? So we're in luck. We're going to have a murder hobo princess. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> but I look forward to seeing it. That that's gonna be good fun. I have a school field trip tomorrow. Uh, I it was so much adrenaline. Oh wow, that sounds like fun. Where are you guys going? All right, let's switch over so y'all can see the game since it's uh, loaded up. Boop. Oh my goodness. So, um, last time. We, I'm like right at the first, um, for those of you who are familiar with the game, I'm right at the first bonfire that is in this catacombs area. So I've run past the skeletons and killed the guy that, oh, wait, what? Ah! Well, that's rude. Who are you? Why are you here? I don't even remember my buttons right now. Ah, shit. Whoa. This is rude. I'm talking to my people and they're murdering me. This is not nice. Guys, I got evaded. <laughs> well, the upside, I guess, at least my souls are, like, right here. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls! <laughs> Hello there, Jacob Docker, how you doing? And I need to move my overlay, which was part of, like, my distraction as this guy, like, comes in and murder hobos me. All right, there we go. It's like needs to be in a different place for every game that I'm playing, and yeah. How the heck do I get this to open? I don't remember. Aren't I supposed to? Oh, I don't remember where I go. 
I was going to say, it looks like I've already done whatever I'm supposed to do with that, but I thought that it opened a door somewhere, but now I don't remember. All right. I don't know that I need to. I don't think I have enough points. Nope, I need like 10,000 to do anything with my souls. Wait, but that takes me like out. I don't remember. Imagine being stuck there in real life. I'd be so screwed. I, I, I'm not ever going to be an adventurer in real life. I don't, I don't have what's needed. Like stamina and endurance and hit points and dexterity. Um, yeah, I don't have any of those things. Oh, it opened up here. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it sucks. You have to kill the wizard. Yeah. Well, I figured out pretty quick that there was something in that area that I had to destroy because they just kept respawning. And then someone in chat kindly told me that it was a necrom the necromancer that was in there. But, uh, yeah. I was like, okay, so there has to be something that I have to destroy in order for these guys to, like, stay dead because... They're not staying dead. They're not behaving like the other. They're not behaving like the other skeletons were. And I'm trying to remember where the necromancer in question is. I've done this once, you would think. But a week has passed, and I've got to go through a couple, like, immediate deaths to get warmed back up, I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm going with, guys. God. Oh, crap. So, yeah, I finally got back to a bonfire, and I got to the blacksmith, and... Like, repaired my equipment and upgraded it and all that. This week of school is in the morning, but I don't have school on Monday and Tuesday. Nice. Some days off. Well, that was weird. Like, spiral. I almost jumped off the edge. That's fine. You don't need to help the enemy murder you. So, it looks like once you've killed the necromancer once, they stay dead. That's useful.
got my souls back. I got souls. You know, that's entirely besides the point. You know, can we celebrate one thing at a time? <laughs> I guess it looks like I'm going up the stairway. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Totally the F word that comes to mind. That spin attack is annoying as fuck, but hey. Yeah, I figured there was somebody hiding in here. They're really good for coming up behind me if I don't kill them, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill them. All right, looks like I have a couple options of where to go here. I have some eyeballs glowing out at the darkness. <laughs> so it's fine. Well, that's rude. Joining in from behind. Ah oh, man, I can't get the timing of the sword right. Well, I jumped down here, and now I have no freaking bloody idea where I am. I mean, not that I really knew where I was before. I think I was up here... I mean, I have, like, no sense of direction. Yet another reason that I would not be a good adventurer. Thank you for the support, Henry. We really appreciate it. Oh, 
Ooh, good guy. Zebra! I'm here, but I'm modding on a different channel. I shall return. Oh, well, hello, Googie! <laughs> Um, all right. It looks like they have a friend over there. That looks like a pain in the balls. All right. I'm sure this is just a different pain in my balls, but, you know, we'll go this way first. Oh, just a complete dead end. That was <laughs> not useful. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just go this other way. So, so Henry, going into the little quiet box of contemplation. It's a nice little box. Apparently, there's there's a, a little snake there and a like place to chill out. All right, so it looks like now I have no idea how I got over where I was. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, man, these skeletons' heads suck. They just, like, throw fireballs at you or something. Whatever that is. Whatever, whatever that is. They just, like, blow up, I guess. Well... Fuck you, statue. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I just figured that out. <sighs> All right, so these guys are attached to that. Apparently. And those look like I'm not going to be able to walk on that. Fuck my life. I mean, I guess I could walk on it, but it does not look recommended. Listen, assholes. Dude, I just got shot in the ass with a fireball. That's really fucking rude. Ah, shit. Alright. I have no idea where the fuck I am. That's fine. What the fuck is this? Is this, like, back where I started? Yep, I think I just totally went back at... I'm fucking my life. <laughs> How is everything going? Well, you know, I'm eating the dirt again. <laughs> it's fine. Am I still in timeout? No, you're not. Because you did a rage quit. I, you know, I think that... That I'm going to get rid of the rage quit redeem. Every time someone redeems it, they're like, what happened? <laughs> it's almost like, it's almost like I'm trolling them and, and <laughs> not intending to. I 
I think people just look at it and go, oh, this sounds funny. What is this? And they do it, and then they're just like, what just happened? And I need to have the, like, rage quit explanation recording that we just then play for, like, after your first rage quit. But it does have a little description over there. It, it sure does. It's like, don't kick him, stab him. What the hell's happening? Yeesh. I never intentionally kick anything. It's just, I don't know. It's one of those timing things you can do. Yeah. Kicking is just something that happens to me. I don't know. Ah, shit. So were you still in the swamp? No, no, but I mean, like, when we started. Ah. So you've written your name somewhere? Yeah, I'd have to go back to the thing and get it plumped up. Well, let me collect my souls. Maybe. I'll just hit the wrong button and recoil from my souls. Ugh, not the souls! I am at the first one. The first one here! Where you go down to the tube and you, like, kill the necro first necromancer you meet? Yeah, that one. Uh, humanity, that's what I need. Yes, make me human. Mm hmm. Well, I'm getting a little, little plumped up. I think I already did. Oh, and I can't do it more because I'm not cool enough. That's fine, I guess. And look, see, I have, I have other magic, but this, this one I can't use. It says, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, it just sucks to me, be me, I guess. I just didn't care enough to unlike, put it in the slot. Oh, look, guys. Guys, we're getting the murder hobo princess. Hello? 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 Yay! The Claudius princess. Hello, Doberman. How you doing? <laughs> All right, let's kill some skeletons. Glad to hear you're doing well.
Oh, it was just going to stand there for a while on my screen after you've killed it? That's, that's a dumb... <laughs> I'm like poking at it and it's already dead. I'm like, what's, why is it not taking damage? What's happened? Oh, you, you, you've already killed this and it's like just doing a slow death animation? All right, that's fine. I <laughs> just... Ah, fucking like corkscrew skeleton is like, who came up with that evilness? Some asshole like got way too drunk and went, you know what we could do? <laughs> we could really screw him with these skeletons. Like literally through the air, they could fly. The other two members are like, that makes no sense. Right, it would be totally unexpected. And they're all like, "Yes, let's do it." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I, that's 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 must be how this happened. I think that your weapon just freaking does way more damage than mine to these assholes. Ah. Uh. Oh, all right. Because I even tried, like, switching to a blunt weapon, thinking, you know, it would be better. It does not do more damage than my plus three pokey halberd stick. I mean, granted, it's just a regular, like, mace, so that's not in its favor for doing more damage. God damn it. God damn it. You have to get the timing right, which I fucking fail at, apparently. Oh, I almost, like, yeeted off the edge. That was, that would have been great. I don't know what this does, but I'm just going to assume that pushing that is somehow necessary. Oh, he's like... Oh, fabulous. I like it not being pokey. What the hell, asshole? Like... Maybe, if it will let me. God damn it. I just want you to know that it's a great theory that you're supposed to roll through those. What happens for real is something entirely different. God damn it. I just got impaled by a skeleton. Like... Not winning right now. Alright, that bridge just sucks balls. Um, I don't see anything. Alright, he was standing when I poked there, just for the record. God damn it. So where's our little asshole? Because they don't look like they're actually dying. I was going to say, I'm not seeing an asshole here! Oh, this is a bad place to be! <sighs> Maybe it must be down this way. Uh, okay. Ah, shit! I just went way down! <laughs> God 
guys, not recommended. Don't fall off the edge. <sighs> this, this, this is why I, I should never be a real adventurer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello there, hello there, Lemmy, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to whatever this shit show is. Alright, let's get plump. I think that's the only thing that I ever really used my humanity for. I get plump and I also kindle fire. So that, that's about it. Oh, look! Look! I see the sign! Oh, it's a glorious sign! Hello! 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 I shall just stare at you. <laughs> Hello, Cookie Hunter. We love new people here. Welcome to the Dazzle. Hi, I found your stream from a scratch card. <laughs> I, I don't even, like, you scratched it off and it was like, here, here's the address. Go check the stream out. <laughs> <laughs> right? You win no money. You win, you win this stream. <laughs> that would be the weirdest scratch ticket ever. Could you just imagine that experience? <laughs> like, you get yourself a lotto ticket, you scratch it all off, you're like, yeah, I got this. And then it's like, what? Like, I, I win a stream? Like, a river? No? Oh, uh, I just get the address just... What? <laughs> it's jackpot. <laughs> it would be so unexpected. I think that I would absolutely check it out. A cross between a scratch ticket and a fortune cookie, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I see you watching people dying in your future. Go to the stream and make it happen. <laughs> I think that we're up to like, what, four deaths now? Yeah. So there's that. I, you know, we have a death counter, and I never remember to use it. <laughs> Who's counting? I don't think anyone is. <laughs> I mean, it does always end up being a ridiculously large number by the end of the stream, so there's that. I love it. <laughs> Lightning bolt! <laughs> very, 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 just like carefully down the stairs and don't eat your ass off the edge is definitely, uh, Oh, it didn't, like, just make it at the bottom of the pit. All right, cool. I got my souls back. You must not be able to get to the bottom of the pit. I would say, um, all right, bossy bitch. <laughs> You're too good for all the hard labor. You're just here to murder things. I see how it is.
There's a shiny over there. Well, I'm glad you know where the hell you're going. Uh, you know, me trying to navigate the swamp was a sad state of affairs. I really missed you knowing a weird way around. The places that I went in that swamp. Oh my god. That soul place. Oh my god. I'm not looking forward to actually having to do that. And the dragon place. Same. Not looking forward to that either. I'm not looking forward to any of this game. Why? Why are we playing this game? Yeah, it just turned. There's, there's a person there. That's weird. Look what she was saying. Am I a cleric or something? Uh, no. Um, we have an invader. I don't like that. I don't approve. Get the, get the fuck out, dude. Nope. God damn it. Well, here they come. You did do damage to him. I don't know where he went. But I'm just going to stay up here where there's only one line of approach and fireball his ass if he comes up. Uh, why is it showing me a cutscene of him? Uh... Spoil my focus. Huh. I guess so. <sighs> I mean, he can't, like, come... He has, can't kill me unless he comes out for me, right? Oh, my Jesus. Did he just, like, yeet himself into some weird-ass place? I love options. I'll be at the bonfire I saved at, right? No, I didn't.
All right, so there's that option. What's the other option? Oh, fuck that. That's going to take forever. The murder hobo princess wants to hunt. Yeah, but we don't get to watch you hunt. That's sad. No, I'm still standing by the bonfire. I will, like, great chaos fireball his ass if he shows up. Is uh, Who am I playing with? I'm playing with the murder hobo princess. This is Stax. All right, so I go to that, and then it's not letting me quit game. Alt F4, what does that do? Are you having me... Oh, you had me murder the game. He had me murder the game, guys! <laughs> the game is dead. <laughs> that was unexpected. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't murder the bad guys, but by God, I can murder the gay. <laughs> Last time, the game may not have been closed using the quick game in system menu. To quit the game, always select quick game from the system menu. Failing to quit the game properly can result in losing some progress. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it looks like I'm starting right exactly where I was. Even with my fire on. All right. Oh, I actually want to rest there. Because it's not a real bonfire yet. There's that. All right. And we'll kindle this one. And I have enough for a level, so might as well spend it. Except for that I don't remember what the hell I'm supposed to spend it on. Um, where did my picture go? I took a, I took a, like, this is how you're supposed to spend your thing. Now, I, I, don't, I don't know what I did with it, guys. Well, shit. <sighs> I think I need dexterity up higher is what they recommended, but I don't remember now. I don't know, but endurance is always good. We'll go with that. I'll have to find my little guide again that, that I have apparently, like, lost into the ether somehow. Huh, I wonder how that happened. Let's say, uh, writing on the wall? There it is. I see the writing on the floor! Yes, glorious murder hover princess! Come forth! Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Hello? That's the great summoning magic, guys. It works every time. Look, look. God, your mask looks so weird. <laughs> it's kind of derpy. Oh. He says that like I have like timing and coordination. Yeah, just, just roll through this, he says. 
Daisy Green, how you doing? All right, let me talk to this guy for real now. Well, that's strange. Oh, you come for trinkets, haven't you? Whatever it is, this place is treacherous. Do watch your step. Oh, well, I knew this place was treacherous. Thanks for the warning, I guess. Bound to. This is Dark Souls. How the fuck do I... Oh, there we go. Hello there, Accordy. How you doing? So he's just a jerk and locks us in. Like, what's Wat Waffle? God damn it. How you doing tonight, Crazy Green? I fell in a hole. Ah! Oh shit! No shit! Ah! Nope. <laughs> I'm doing good. Super no annoyed because I need to buy new valves for an old engine. But they're super hard to get here and expensive. Oh, that sucks. Came here to relax. Well, I'm glad that you find this a place to relax. And welcome. I hope that you have luck finding your, your valve things. I don't know anything about cars. Oh, wait. I have to, like, re-plump and re-summon. If I want a friend, anyway. This is the call a friend mode in Dark Souls. I don't have very many humanities left. I have four twin ones, though. You're not hearing the game? Well, that's awkward. Well, let me look and see why that is. Oh, I hear the music again. Do you hear, like, water noises now? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Got it now. Yeah, it was only her voice. That's so weird! change anything I just reloaded it and so uh, I just reselected it I, I I I love computers so much <laughs> I'm glad that's all it took uh sorry about that guys I was hearing it so I I didn't even know oh and you weren't even hearing stacks <laughs> no. Hello. so I've just been like talking to myself over here <laughs> All right, we're gonna try a thing. We could skip uh, a big chunk of all that bullshit. It was a bit weird to be honest, trying to guess what she was replying to. Oh man, you should have been like, dude, what are you doing? I I totally had no idea that you couldn't hear all the things. Because my system said you should have been able to hear all the things. I was talking to ghosts, right? <laughs> Can we just murder him and then he won't like lock us in, right? Uh, we got a chance to do that later. Um, okay, so I want you. To, okay, actually, come over here and just practice rolling forward a few times. Okay, so you know that you've got that down. 
Are you questioning my ability to roll? I mean, come on. I've sucked at it consistently through the game. Why would you question? What the fuck? That nah, what? Nah. Alright, here we go. Woo! I could not have landed anywhere close to the edge and stayed on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask why we couldn't hear stacks when I thought it was a personal choice. I didn't even notice the game of music gone. <laughs> that was super too close for comfort. I thought I was done. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Living on the edge is exactly it. I was very much on that edge and not liking it. Right, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Falling for the edge. I love how I just like, oh, this sounds like a terrible idea. All right, but Stack says to do it. Well, here we go. Hey, there's treasure here. There's another page resume, isn't there? There is. I lost the murder hobo. Where'd you go? I dropped down. You dropped down in the hole? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Like, is there Dude, a magic place I'm supposed to land? Just on one side or the other, not middle. One side or the other, not the middle. I guess that counts as the side. Okay. Now... Kill this guy one more time. And I'm going down here. Well, apparently I am too, because I didn't know it was there and just walked into it. Oh my god. Good luck. Oh shit. Who ran into a helicopter. <laughs> hey, at least I leveled up so I didn't lose, like, a whole bunch of souls, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Well. I have another way to get you to the boss. Well, I guess we're using twin souls, because that, uh, humans, because that's all I got. Going double down, man. I'm gonna get plump for you. It just sounds like it should be something dirty. <laughs> Appropriately plump, let me summon you. I don't know, reverse hollowing just sounds weird. Oh, wait, hello, 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 hello. I love the score helmet. I do your voices. I love that too. I think which way should it go? Yeah, this way. All right, cause wait, 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 wait. Try to set these things off. Should be good. All right, that was a much better jump than last time. Whew. <laughs> you didn't end up right on the edge, man. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. All right. First of all, you're gonna want to heal up just to be at full. When we drop down there, we're gonna run out of that room. Okay. Uh, where that where that black knight is, we're just gonna run away from him. 
Okay. Um. You want to heal up again, but you want to make sure you're full here. Alright. Okay. Okay. Nope. Just keep running. Away from these guys. Might need to, like, weave. You know that dexterity I said I didn't have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're testing it now. Whoop. I love that for me. Get to this fog wall and push through and you're good. Okay. Everything's awesome. Everything's fine. Stegs give me that false sense of security. Oh, it, it, it's definitely a false sense of security. He's like, just weave a little. <laughs> yep, sure. I got this. <laughs> oh. Oh, a cutscene. Okay. Oh, well, this is where you got your mask. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, why the fuck did you just... Ah! What's fire? saw what happened because my description was horrendous. <laughs> Needs more rolling, right? <laughs> I just need more rolls. With some butter. And a nice, relaxed environment in which to enjoy them. <laughs> This is gonna be a little tricky. Oh, that's I love it when you preface I, I, bullshit. I know you that. love that. You love a good challenge. That's no. that's why you play these games. Uh, what are you doing to me? We're going on an adventure. I do like challenges, which is why I do like play these games. I will say this is probably one of the bigger challenges I've taken on. So different than anything I've ever played. All right, we're gonna go down. Drop. And then I've already done that. So okay. Remember that whole rolling thing? <sighs> You're gonna roll don't do it yet. You're gonna roll onto that. Roll onto that, he says. Yep, don't do it yet, because I, I need to get out of your way. 
Okay. I don't even see where you rolled onto. Well, you but... see where that orange thing is? Just walk right, actually, walk right off onto it. You'll be fine. I'm gonna okay. And now where I am, I'm gonna get off this, and then you're gonna follow me onto. Uh, so you see where I am at now? Yeah. Then you're gonna drop onto that. Got me a shard. How exciting! Make All sure right. you're full health. Full health. I love things that say start with full health. And that then... means you're gonna tell me to do something stupid. Uh, let's see. If you, so the way your character's facing right now, if you roll off of that, you should be fine. I really am a hobbit at heart. Excellent. I just, I just, I want warm beds and second breakfast. <laughs> you got a bonfire here. Jesus Christ. We didn't, like, get the other, I can't start it. Oh, right. Okay, let me... Care of that. I can't um, start it. I can't light it. <laughs> I can't yeah, start yeah. the fire. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of that. Uh, use item. Oh, you went away. I did, but I'm going to be back in a moment. Oh, I can't light a bonfire when you're here. Correct. Well, I have a humanity. Why don't I also kindle this one? Uh, yes, probably a good idea. Because if I die, I'm going to lose that humanity anyway. Yes. So might as well make it useful. At least that's how I'm figuring it. All right, and then there should be writing on the floor somewhere. Uh, there will be in a sec. Guys, you That's see kinda... what he does to me? He makes my blood pressure go up, which is probably a good thing because my blood pressure runs low, but still. Too bad what it probably all only accomplishes is increasing my heart rate without my blood pressure going up. <laughs> <laughs> because that's just how my body is. Uh, anyway, I have allergy eyes right now, and this one feels particularly slimy. I don't know if any of you have uh, the, that slimy film allergy eye, uh, but... Hold on, uh, I'm gonna need to re, re put my sign down. So I'm not summoning you? No. That's just a tease. He writes on the floor, don't summon me yet. All right. <laughs> Only when you're tired, you get that kind of like gooky. Yeah, it's just, it's such an uncomfortable feeling. It's like, yeah, slimy is the only way I can explain it. It feels like, I don't know. And it's not like terrible. It's just kind of unpleasant. Yeah, kind of like sticky, gooky feeling. And I know the science is that the more that you rub them, the worse that it makes that. Because, like, the eye snot is mostly, like, the particulates and stuff like cells that we generate from blinking and rubbing our eyes. So the more you rub, the more your, your tears are going to get that sticky, tacky quality. And, yeah, it's ice snot. <laughs> that's that's the highly technical nursing phrase, ice snot. There's probably an actual term for it, but I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> when we run out here, we're going to run to the left and down that uh, passage. Uh, I love that we're running. That's quite where I wanted to throw that. Oh, sorry. Uh, right. I run right into one because I followed your directions. Ah, shit, my life is just gone. Vaporized. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I was truly no. and. <laughs> so it's uh, running out to the right, but also running. <laughs> I, I, I tried. I don't know what happened. I panicked. I saw the thing and went, what?
Snack needs to explain better. Walk in there, do stuff. <laughs> I mean, I will say that I definitely do better when he's playing than when he's not, so there's that. I mean, you guys saw me with the swamp by myself and that whole kerfuffle of like trying to get out of there and having no idea which direction I was supposed to be going. So, I mean, there's that. God, I might actually just nuke these things instead of going through any of that. And this game is so rude because they give you a safe spot, but it's not like you can just clear the area and then come back and save. Nope, because doing so just respawns the bastards. All right, just stay back and let me deal with these guys. Well, you know I'm supposed to play the game, right? Sure. <laughs> I, but I can one-shot them, <laughs> and they can one-shot you. <laughs> they did not one-shot me. Close enough. Look, I killed one! Ah! There you go. Alright. I mean, a whole one, but I got it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, still one. I'm like, you took care of all the others while I was killing my one, but, you know. Mm, not quite all. Oh, look, you're slacking. Okay. My left god, that should be all of them. Left some stragglers. Sheesh. <laughs> I killed the one! <laughs> Those things are just so damn annoying. They are! It's never good when you're like, just, just run! Bob and weave! Okay. I mean, like... If you avoid their initial charge, they're easy to kill. But when they, like, if they get right into you, it just, it's hit, 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 hit. It's like, ugh. All right, let's start this with fullness. Especially since the bonfire so kindly spit out an extra. I mean. This guy, Pff, easy, I know, right? This boss is supposed to be easy. <laughs> I mean, we did pretty good. It was just yeah. my timing of getting stuck in between the when he split into four. I think this would be a more difficult fight for being completely right, uh, melee. Yeah. Should do it. Dead. He's totally dead, right? Ooh. Yeah, let's go. By right <sighs> of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the normal limit. Yep. What? That means I can do another Kindle? Sweet! You can! I can't say much because I've never played any of the Dark Souls games, right? This is this is my first adventure, and it's been... a ride. <laughs> it's been a ride. Mask of the Mother. Well, that must be the weirdness you're wearing. Oh man, but I really like my... Whatever, poor hat. I don't know where you went. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, you disappear because of the fire. Uh, because of the boss being, being defeated. Yes. That's right. I always forget about this weird two-player mechanic. Alright, how the fuck do I get out of this room?
All right, I guess I'll read these assholes' messages. Anywhere? <laughs> Fucking what? Up ahead? Here? Here what? Cla oh, there's a fucking ladder. That, like, really visually blends in. Jesus. They could have made it, like, black prongs or something. What are they called? That's not... It's not prongs when it's a ladder. What is it called? Rungs. <laughs> Rungs! <laughs> like, it's not right! That's a fork! <laughs> Giant screaming, OPEN SESAME! Like, it's almost like we just jumped down into a huge sarcophagus. Yeah, um, okay. So, hold on, hold on. I can, I can drop a sign down. I was just thinking, I was like, what is, is this, like, a place to go? I don't even know. My curiosity will probably end me, but that's fine. Oh, whoops. Didn't so we come, I don't know. I think we came in on that edge, right? I don't know. We came in here somewhere. Looks like you're out of bounds in a game, the border edge. Right? It's like super weird. And it looks like if I just walk off it all, I'll like fall into oblivion. But that's not, it's like. Yeah, this, this is a very, this is an intentionally tricky place. I like, this is um, just. Bizarre. Well, the whole game is intentionally asshole tricky. I love how you 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 often say <laughs> going into areas. This this part's intentionally hard. Yes, the whole game is intentionally <laughs> like raging dick move. <laughs> um. In a lot of ways, it really is a throwback to like the Nintendo games where you didn't get a lot of saves and you didn't get a lot of lives and you had to do a lot of the game in like one chunk of go. Let's make a game yeah. about pissing players off, right? Uh, I, I mean... So in order to see my summon sign, you're going to have to step off a little bit towards one of these uh, shining orbs. Just don't go too far. Is, this game is bullshit. And you've got 18,000 souls, and I don't remember where the bonfire is. Um. I mean, I will say that overall, I've really enjoyed playing this game, more so since I've switched characters. Um, I, I'm not a fan of the two-player system. I think that that's just annoying as fuck, and I wish that you could just play two players. Like, Make it a two-player game. This whole bullshit about, like, having to be plumped out and only certain contexts and stuff, that's just dumb. Like, if I want to play a game with my friend, I should be able to play a game with my friend. And this, like, whole contextual... Like, I get they're trying to tell an interesting story, but they don't actually put in the effort to tell the story to go along with the pain-in-the-ass mechanic, so there's no payoff for me. Like, there, there isn't a lot of intense storytelling to make it feel like this mechanic isn't just another dick move. Um, right. So that's probably my biggest complaint about the game. Um, my second, like, meh about the game is that you can't change difficulty. And I get that they want to make it a slog and a grind, but what a slog and a grind is for me is going to look very different for someone else. And... I think that being able to tailor your game experience should be something that you just you just have. Like I, I think that it's mind boggling that that's just not a part of the game. I feel the co-op mechanic in the game was an afterthought. Well, I do think that it was an afterthought, and I think that it was a poorly done one. Like just just let me have a buddy in the game. Like uh, I, I gotta get back to you. I was. Trying to because test it's out mostly the way ahead. a single player game. Yeah, it is mostly a single player game. And and you know what? If they had just said, nope, we want it to be a single player game, thank you for the posture check ads, and had kept it as a single player game, fine. I would have had no issue. There's a lot of games that are single player games and I can't have a buddy play with it. Play with me. 
But when I'm promised, like, that this is going to be a two-player game, like, you buy this game, it says it's two-player, this is not what I expect when something is, is labeled as being a two-player game. Like, this is, like, one and a half player. <laughs> Like, you can, you can have a, a partner play with you if you meet certain conditions and you have the right equipment, you know, being the humanities, and if you're in the right places and, and, and you know, like, that's like, it's a one and a half player game. <laughs> So I think that it, it, it would have just annoyed me less if it was just advertised as, as a one-player game and you couldn't just have a buddy. Like, I think that would be fine. Oh, I need help. Let's pull someone out of the hat, right? Like, yeah, I, I, I think that this game would be a lot more fun. And I think that part of that is just me as a player. I enjoy playing games with people you know, with other players more than I enjoy playing games by myself. I find that gaming for me is a very social experience. So for me, being a two-player game is a very important feature. And I, I very rarely purchase games that are only um, single player. So for me, it feels like really false advertising. I mean, I didn't buy this game, but that's, that, that's not the point. Um, but it, it, it was really disappointing thinking going into this, oh, this is a two-player game and, and my buddy Stacks plays it and we can play together and then feeling like, no, we really can't. So that, that was a huge disappointment for me. But overall, I think that this is a really good game and, and those are probably my areas of disappointment. The two-player, not having the ability to adjust the difficulty and it, it not really taking on the narrative that it suggests like the narrative is like laid into the world but they don't actually tell you an active narrative story and there's so much potential to do that and I think that it's disappointing that they didn't and I, I'm a story you know fan I always want there to be a, an expansive involved narrative I mean I, I will play games that are nothing but story so I mean <laughs> there's that that's again these are my biases I have to blow my nose. Just a second. All right. Pardon me. No snot running down my face on stream. That, that'd that be gross. Water in the face. Oh. Uh. I don't know why my summon sign's not showing up. Um. I don't know. I'm not but it may scared. also be beneficial for you to home use a homeward bone and go back to a bonfire. I, I have a stack of them. I can do that. There's 18,000 souls. That's that's a hefty a amount. That's enough for a level. Yeah. I don't think it's two because my last level was 10,000. So. Ah, fair enough. You might have uh, soul items that you can use to. Oh, that's true. I might might be able to with those because I know I have soul items. Uh, because I have those. Let's use both of them. Whoop. I, I frequently forget about the souls in my pocket. I mean, I like that they do that because you can't drop those souls, like, when you die. Okay, those are the only ones I have. I was going to say, I don't think I have very many. All right, and then we're gonna do a level up. So we'll go Vitality. Oh, gives me just the one. Pretty close to a second one though. Kindle. I can make this one bigger now. Is that hot? Is that what that say? In theory, yes. Ooh, I can be 15 now. I like that. I'm a big kid now. 
splendid! This works the way I want it to. So I think overall my my impressions of this first game is that I don't think that I'm some new hardcore Dark Souls fan. I wouldn't like seek out every game in the series and like have to own them and play them and you know seek out the Souls-like games and all that. Like I don't think that I've like converted to some hardcore fan or anything. But if presented with future games, would I play them? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. That's fun. It's an interesting world. It's a nice, really dark setting, which I happen to be a huge fan of dark settings. And it does present a real challenge. And I find that a lot of the newer games don't really push you and don't really challenge you and aren't super hard. Um, so I really like that it's that it's really hard. So yeah, overall, pretty positive experience and definitely better since I've switched characters that I feel like it's a better match to my playstyle. And they have like a whole long list of different um, classes, so that's nice. But I also that like that being a spellcaster does not put me in a specific like niche for equipment. That I can still use the halberd and shield and still do a lot of the melee stuff that I was doing with the other character, even though I am the pyromancer and am a magic-based character. So I, I I do like that dynamic of it. A lot of times the the wizard classes get pegged into the like you gotta wear the robe and you can only cast spells and you're the one hit glass cannon you know one hit wonder uh you you can wreck shit but you get wrecked easy you know so i i like that they give you the option about how to kind of build your character so you can be almost like a fighter mage combo that's that's kind of cool and fun a lot of games don't really go that route Are you gonna come pee on the ground? Um, well, since we've cleared that boss, uh, you can't summon me there. Okay, that's um, fair. I was waiting for you, and I, I, I... But, so if you go through that area again... So, um, this is a blacksmith? Yes. Can I make my weapons better? I don't think I have anything for him. Dude, you're like... a special-looking guy. Some smithing. Then produce me some way. No response. Uh, no weapons for ascension. Okay. And you just have bones. Oh, so I can buy the shards from him to do the weapon. Interesting. What was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. <laughs> That is not the voice that I would expect from a skeleton weaponsmith. Hello, armor, full armor tech. How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. Hello, are you playing on the PC? I sure am. So we're going through here and I don't know. What? Ah, fuck. I was just about to say, I don't remember how many there were, but at least I dodged them. Well, there you go. <laughs> Assholes. Alright, I dodged the first round. <laughs> it just went downhill from there. No souls anyway, it's fine. God damn it, where the fuck are my souls?
Yeah, I'll just bugger off. You're all assholes. I don't I don't like you. Alright, so there's that. <laughs> Whatever that is. Do I just drop down again? I guess. Boop. Oh, I thought something was shiny. I guess not. Babbles lied to me, I guess. Alright, so are you peeing on the ground out here, or is that the plan? Um... This place looks like it sucks. Where are these little shiny it things? It does, um... Path ahead. Okay. Here. <sighs> All right. Hold on, sorry. I'm in a fight. Well, how dare you? Yeah, right? Okay. A fight in Dark Souls. Who thought? Right. Tomb of the Giants. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, this area, I don't have a good way to... Um... area is a place. Mwah, I loved you, souls. Good to know you. <laughs> the likelihood that I shall retrieve you again. <laughs> loved you long time. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. It's about it. I guess the question is, is I'm, am I going to be summoning you, or should I save my humanity? You should definitely save your humanity. You're not going to summon me up anywhere okay. around there. I kind of was getting that healing, but I figured I would clarify before I, like... Oh. Listen, you. All of you. Fuck off! <laughs> Once you get hit by one and you get into that little stun, like, animation, it, yeah. it really makes it so likely that you're just gonna get, like, run over by all of them. Hey guys, I got my zero souls back. So th this area, um, Tomb of the Giants, the gimmick, as you probably figured out, it's very dark. Yeah, you can't see shit, so it likes to pop out at you right at the last second, and you're right on top of this giant skeleton. That was fantastic. And then yep. you can't tell where the edges are, so dodging and stuff becomes super sketchy. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I found the edge. <laughs> okay, guys. This is where I'm just going to be for the rest of the night, I think. <laughs> to get past these really bastards and I'll look. I 
I just leveled up not long ago. You think that I would have paid attention to the like total, but nope. Where does it even tell me? Uh, I am 43 these days. <laughs> So I feel like, you know, I've made some pretty decent progress into the game, but, uh, over, overall, <laughs> it's been a slog. Yeah, th this is, this is going to be one of the tougher areas to get through, especially, you know, you might be able to, well, I might be able to get a summon sign. Well, no, because you're not going to use humanity and it'd be a waste to use it until you get to the bonfire. Um. Jesus, I don't even know where to go for after the bonfire. Um, uh, so the trick is seeing the eyeballs, I think. Oh, six. That was awesome. I love that for me. I, I just did like six damage when I poked him. Well, uh, he was blocking. I but, know, yeah. but I love that for uh, me. But also, yes, your <laughs> weapon, like, they are resistant to your weapon. I know, but I tried the mace. It's not better. Because I have a mace, but what I found with the mace is that because it is a lesser weapon, that it actually ends up doing about the same or less damage. Uh, I mean, your magic will probably something relevant. Well, sure, but then I only get four blasts. I'm not going to be able to get through this whole area in, like, a few blasts. Or what are your spells? I mean, if I use the bigger one, I think I get, like, eight if I use the smaller one. Yeah, well, I mean, you can cycle between them. Well, right, but I'm just saying, it's still a very limited, uh, commodity. Oh, apparently I've already pulled out the Morning Star. Because that's. And the club, I don't have the stats for. I'm not cool enough to wield that bad boy. Um, go back into your inventory. I want to see if you have something. But, uh. I mean, I can try with the Morning Star, but part of the challenge is that it's such a different fight mechanic and timing that I don't do as well with it. Uh, it's not the oh, wait, you, you got rid of a whole bunch of your stuff. Uh, go into your bottomless box. I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you put stuff in that bottomless box. Oh, yeah, box. yeah, yeah. I put stuff in the box. Yes. Uh, yeah, starting there. Just scroll down. Because I can't use the club, because I don't have the stats for that. Do they have an evening star, right? And do I have the lantern? Uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Just oh, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't think so. Yeah, because this is what I've been using, is the halberd plus three. Get it. I know you can get one down here, but, um... Yeah, because someone else told me in chat that, uh, the blunt damage would do better against the skeleton, so I did try it, but, I mean, and I'm willing to try it again. It's not like I can do worse than I just did. I mean... <laughs> I think the guy in, in Firelink sell one, I think... But not sure that they can warp right now. I don't. No. I don't think I. It's just I don't think I can go back to the fire lane. Rip. Yeah. Um, that's... But if I can get back to you, I can actually. I think I can give you oh, shit. 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 
Ah, shit. <laughs> Darkness it is, then! Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, if I had something that, like, got rid of the darkness, I think that would be a huge help. I didn't even know that was an option. And I think that's, like, at least 50 to 60% of this game is the, um... Knowing that what's coming and knowing what resources are available to you and knowing what equipment and where to go and the ideal order to do things in so that you have the equipment from location A to use in equipment, you know, to, to use in area B. It's Bob and Weave, not Weave and Bob, right? <laughs> There's a spell that lights up the area, I think. Not sure. No, I got two spells to my name. I got, uh, the, well, I got Remedy, but that, that, that doesn't mean anything. I have Fireball, and I have Great Chaos Fireball. So I got a little Fireball, and I have a big Fireball. That, that, that's what I got. <laughs> the music is so relaxing and calm and chill. As I'm like death sprinting for my life. I'm just thinking to myself, oh, this is a really nice, relaxing sound. Yeah. As I'm all like, oh, don't die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're totally like nailing the vibe here. I mean, this is probably not the best place for me to go next, but it was where I knew to go, you know, a place that I knew I could go, so I just jumped in and went, and, well, here we are. Man, this is my balls, so we, we know he's there. I mean, with my passive perception of two, though, I'm not going to be noticing eyeballs. What? What? Oh, shit. I did not mean to turn around, and that's not helping. I just wanted to hit him once. To see if the base did any of that. Like, that was... That was, like, a really bad showing even for me. Uh, this is gonna be one of those I get really good at dodging these bastards out of necessity. I mean, I think this really is going to just be where we live tonight. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the section we're going to be at. I mean, the only other alternative would be to try to go back, but I don't think that that's necessarily an option. A lot of times they kind of make you commit to a section once you get to a certain point. It's not even gonna let me like. Yeah, I did a whole 13. Nope, I do more with my halberd when I actually connect. Uh, I think. But 13 isn't a whole lot. Yeah, it's like this This is the only blunt weapon I have found yeah, in the I'm, game. At this point, it feels like you're I just gonna use. have to use uh, magic. I mean, I can use magic, but again, I have eight. 
I have a feeling like an uh, eight is gonna it's gonna be more than eight. I don't think an eight is gonna take me through this whole zone. Wow, that actually looked like I knew what I was doing. Guys, that's a lie, don't believe it. It was just luck. <laughs> This almost feels like I'm back at the swamp with all my broken gear that's doing uh, crap because it's broken. <laughs> that sucked. Don't miss that slog. business who's boss jesus christ words are hard i i am the business of the businesses i am the top business guys oh my goodness doesn't drive you to drink, you're just not a drinker, I guess. I have no idea how dead I made him. But it wasn't seeming to be anywhere near enough given that I only have eight of those fireballs. Let's see what my big boy does. I mean, I only get eight of the, uh, four of those, but... Fuck right off. Sheesh. <laughs> Nothing else. Dark Souls brings out my body mouth.
sure why it did that, but all right. Me and this magic, I'm telling you. We, we, have, we have a hit in this relationship. There's a lot of missing. God damn it. I mean, I got him, but that like, that, 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 that's my magic. I mean, that's all of that one. I mean... Uh, that's pretty rough. Oh, oh, I, I didn't like that. Oh, there's an edge there. What the fuck direction am I supposed to go? Ah! Oh, well, I'm going this way now, I guess. <laughs> if you go around to the oh, go around to the right. Maybe. I don't know. Have fun. Oh Jesus. You found him. <laughs> I don't okay. know that that sounds oh, what? You just You just kicked me off, you asshole! right there. Oh, what an asshole. Well, let's start off by, like, catching myself up, eh? Oh, boy. Okay. Um... Skull oh. Lantern. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you'll want that on your left hand. Which means you won't have a shield, oh, but... Oh, shit. I guess I'm healing. I want that in my left hand. I don't, I don't know how to... Set up your shield <laughs> hand. So, yeah. There you go. Alright, and then... I don't remember that. There we go. Okay, I guess I do remember. You want to hold L1. Oh. Much better. So now you'll see, see all the things that are about to kill you. I mean, I don't have a shield. That's unfortunate. I'm used to having one. Well, what you can do is you can switch off of it. You know what you? Oh. Okay. Can't talk. Hollow. Oh, you can't talk to her. There you go. Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two face hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights. My former escort. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Even is, is there nothing? Nothing at all to be done. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't I don't know how to fix people. Now you can see your way through there. I mean, it's creepy looking lantern, but I've got it. I mean, like, all right. 
Look at that! Friendly. Friendly, friendly thing. <laughs> I mean, seeing has got to help. Ah, shit. That's an asshole. You're in my way. Well, I guess they made a little bit of forward progress. That's something. <laughs> we measure our progress in Dark Souls by centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> look, come on, doesn't it feel that way? Like, if this was real life, you'd be like, Look, look, I got my foot one centimeter further than I did last time. <laughs> time by day. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I want this one. Are you gonna let me like? There it goes. That's a big sword. Come on, give me the anime sword, right? right? I don't have the strength on this character, but that's besides the point. All right, these are my uh, little sliding points. We're here. But he didn't kick me off this time? I am not using my shield. That's a problem. I'm trying to shield with a shield I don't have equipped, guys. It just, it didn't work. It, it didn't, whoop. It didn't read my mind and know exactly what I wanted from it. It didn't materialize out of the ether. I should be able to just wear the lantern as a hat. Oh. Strap the skull right in between my horns and call it good, right? Hang it off a horn? I mean, come on! I could just tie the hair to my horn and, like, have it dangle right here. It'd be my new bud, right? On my shoulder. My bud of brightness. That seems totally legit to me. I'm not used to switching out anything on that side. I've never had another option over there. Alright, 
it. That spell takes so long. Just, just throw it. Don't look at it. He's got to dramatically hold it in front of him first. It's like, no, you don't. Just toss the fucker. these books and I go, look at all the knowledge. We should check them out. I'm sure I could learn something from here. They do, they do not, in fact, let me check it out. like it. Alright, so I can either get yeeted off the edge, or I can face- Oh shit. Some nightly assholes. Fuck! Or I could just get guillotined by a skeleton! <laughs> not chosen my next area wisely. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed better than going against dragons at the time. Now I'm not convinced it is better than going against dragons. Drakes, but I don't know. They look like dragons to me. I'm still feeling like this was a better choice than the ghost place. The ghost place was like one hit kill. That was that was bad. Oh, 
land on me. That's rude. All right, let's get yeeted. I guess I just didn't give him the opportunity to do it, huh? Uh, he only does it one time. The first time you meet him. And this is where the knights were. Everything. That seems to be working. Ah! Ah! What the hell are those? <laughs> Guys, there was like a pillar of gross skeletons. Sure was. Did you seriously just give me into an alcove of nothingness game? Ah, no! Uh, you can... It's an illusory wall. Well, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, you could have just attacked it. it yeah. Now you know. Now I know! Now I'm dead! Trolls, they're like, ah, dead end. But not really. <sighs> I often forget that not that I don't have to kill everything, and then oftentimes in this game, killing everything is like not a good option. But I'm kind of like programmed from other games. You kill everything, right? Like that that's what you do. I mean, I could probably eventually get through here killing everything, but it would take me five days. Or I can just be a weenie and run. <laughs> I mean. At the point where you, uh, you know, you have that place where you drop down. Um, where the guy pushed me? Yeah. If instead you turn left, you will see, you might see a note and a ladder. And if you go down that ladder. You just activate the bonfire. Oh, I just got like an I got an extra Estus thing. I was, I was wondering if that was tied to that. Is that you? Am I seeing that my is... image of my murder hobo? That shouldn't be me. I'm standing up on the platform above where uh, you're at. Uh, but... Well, it looked like somebody was wearing the mask like you wear. <laughs> and I was sitting at this A few fire. people wearing that thing down here. Um, I mean, not surprised. I don't know the way to the boss, but if you want to try to summon me here, um... Oh, sure. I mean, you can't make it go worse. Right? Um, okay, well... even ask what level are you at these days 53 all right so not like ridiculously higher than me it's not like you're like level no, 100 no. i don't even know what the maximum level is there is none there is none okay uh, the the maximum effective level is like when you have your stats at 30 i think is like the the soft cap or something like that
30 is as high as your stats can go? Is that what you're saying? Well, 30 or 40 um, is like, that's when it, uh, you kind of get diminishing returns, I guess is the way to put it. Okay. I don't see any signature on the wall. Uh, I'm working on it. There's no or... graffiti. Yeah. Well, you have a good night, Cookie. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. We appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed watching me get murdered on repeat. <laughs> it should be right around here where you stand, because I could see you stand up from the bonfire and you know walk around for a moment. So. There's always weirdness about the signature. It so rarely just shows up exactly like it should. Yeah. Oh, the other side of it might be... Well, no. Shouldn't matter that we killed Pinwheel. He's not the boss of this area, so. I'm glad that you enjoyed, and I hope you have a fabulous remainder of your evening. This makes my helmet look super creepy. <laughs> to be right. lit underneath. I I am the creepy, creepy one. I'll put it a little closer to the ladder then. Um, All right. Sometimes just turning it off and back on is the answer. Uh, that's the truth. I'm still not seeing you. Yeah, it uh, usually takes a bit. Just go, where is my princess? Yeah, Grave Lord Nito's the boss, so. Certainly haven't killed him. Hello there, Norsan. How you doing? And welcome to the Dazzle. Try something else here. Uh, not you. I wonder if I can, like... No, no, like he cares. I just get twitchy. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I'm doing all right, you know, dying on repeat and uh, Dark Souls. Trying to uh, summon a friend. It's uh, not working out so well. It is not, and that's really annoying. Um, well, did I leave I, a message for you on the ground anywhere? Like, uh, there's no orange on the ground at all. Not that I see. Uh, I guess let's try climbing up the ladder then. I might just have to do this by myself. Hopefully not. So right on the other side of that orange message, there should be my sign in a moment. Gee, those this game so is really hard. This is my introduction to the whole Dark Souls game franchise, I guess is what you would call it. Um, I came into it with being told that it is a brutally difficult game and it has lived up to that description. <laughs> um, I've, I've really liked that it is completely different than anything else that I have played. Like the way that you engage in combat and stuff is totally different than any other game that I've played. So I really, I've enjoyed that. It's been a huge learning curve though. So there's been lots of struggle busting just to figure out like how the fight mechanics and stuff work because I've, I've never really played games that work 
the fight mechanic works like this does. Um, where you've got to like switch in your equipment and, and time your blocking and all that. I don't, I don't tend to play games that that's a required mechanic. Um, I tend to play either like the first person shooter, like seven days to die or, um, games like don't starve where I can just do a lot of kiting and dodging and running away. Um, or strategy games where you're like turn-based, pick your card, like, you know, that kind of stuff. So this has been very different and I've really enjoyed that total change of pace. But man, I don't think this is a game that I could play like every night for, you know, five, six, seven hours. Like I've seen some people playing like big long stretches. I think that it, whew, I think I would burn out on it. And I'm still not seeing your uh, signature um, here. Yeah, so you know what you might have to do? What's that? Go up and talk to that asshole with the tower shield. He's oh, he's outlived you. his usefulness. I, well, let's just calm down. Talk about this. Yeah. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. Of course These you meant it. Temptations. They can, well, overcome me. I'm about you know to I mean? overcome you. you. Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? How do I answer? See, this whole yes or no, it doesn't give me a clear, like, what am I answering yes or no to? Well, he's asking, do you forgive him? Is that what the question is? Yes. Then no, well, I don't forgive him, he's an sake, asshole. Let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive. I said I'm sorry. I know. Take this. It proves something, doesn't it? No, I want to, like, <laughs> kick his ass off the edge. Do I get to kick his ass off the edge? <laughs> right? I feel like it's stressful. Yeah, this game can be super stressful. I don't, I don't get to kick his ass off the edge. No? That's disappointing. That should be an option. He he yeeted me off the edge. Turnabout seems fair play. I should be like, nope, I don't forgive you. Whew. <laughs> you should be looking at my sign right now. It's just not there. That's so annoying. Yeah, I think that I'm just going to have to, like, run the gauntlet. All right. Okay, well, hold, hold, oh. okay. Well, you said hold, and, well, I'm, I, yeah. or, I already pushed the forward button. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like, this is a, like, this is Sparta and kick, exactly. Like, be like, screw you, dude, just poof. All right, let me, let me try putting my sign down here. <laughs> All right. Um. All the different places the princess could pee, leave your mark. Oh, did I? Okay, it should be around the center. Um. I think I'm just getting access denied. Yeah, probably. All right. The weirdness that is the two player in this. Don't worry about it. I struggle best with English, and I... It's my primary language, so... Words are hard, man. I'm just watching and I'm panicking. Well, me too. <laughs> At least I'm closer. Yep. Yeah.
Ah, fuck my life. What the hell is that? That's not what I was trying to push. That's fine. This isn't a player. No. I mean, that was a statement. That wasn't a question. That's why I'm like, <laughs> what is this? You can do it! <laughs> okay, now this thing came out straight from hell, right? I, I I don't know what that was. I've never seen anything like it. It was like demon crab shooting me from behind. Really rather rude. So is that like one of the NPCs that sometimes invade? Um, uh, that's, uh, I believe, something called a Gravelord Servant or something like that. It, it's very weird. Um, it is linked to another player, but I don't know much about them. I, I don't know, like, all the intricate details. I'm just not gonna be able to do it, am I? Oh. Nope, it's just it's just access denied now that it's up, right? I'm gonna have to like fight my way. I'm gonna have to do the slog. Okay, that's fine, I guess. We like slogs. <laughs> Are you guys convinced? <laughs> It is weird. It's definitely weird. far enough away. I, I think the radius is shorter in darkness. just like fireball him a couple times before he ran up so I could like knock down his hit points a little bit but that didn't work out I'm still gonna go for that strategy. Oh, my zero, my zero souls. I'm just so in the habit of picking them up, I don't even think about it. It's just, you pick up your souls, right? Oh, oh shit, nope.
Not being able to see where his equipment is doing is a problem. Like, he's just enough far into the dark that I can't tell if he's, like, prepared, has his equipment up. Like, that's a major problem for me. Oh, well, at least I got my heel off. throwing matches instead of fireballs, right? Like, three hits and bye! I know, right? It's just... Mm. He's wrecking me. Is everyone has that kind of damage? Oh, yeah. They, they don't ever, like... They just bust you. Even the light is against me. Everything is definitely against you in this. Oh, I only get 10 for this one. I was trying to get 15, but... That's the other one. I don't have to use a humanity. Like, this game is definitely like everything here once you're dead. This game and Don't Starve have that in common. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Take that, bone. I'm glad his magic works. Personally, am not capable of like timing it right. Oh shit! I need to like change. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Burn it all. <laughs> Yeah, because apparently if you, like, time it right when you're moving forward in the attack, you can, like, do a little kick punt thing. But I, like, never time it right. Yeah, that, that never works out for me. I just, like, end up randomly kicking when I don't intend to. Did I just not get... Why didn't I not get Ted? Uh, I don't think you've kindled this one, have you? Oh, so it's just giving me how many I already had. Yeah. Because, no, I haven't kindled this one. I'm just so used to them having ten, I just assumed it was going, you know, my brain went, it has ten. <sighs> if I was thinking, I would, like, just use the humanity for that, but... I think I know I already hollowed, so you can't just, like, change your mind. That should be a thing. You can't summon my friend, like, just hollow me out and give it to my fire. Okay, we went to, to hell, not him. <laughs> I can't time that in real life and in-game, absolutely not, right? <laughs> yeah, I definitely would make the worst hero in real life.
They're out. Thanks. I was thinking I had one more. Just die. <gasps> the one fireball off in like nowhere must have been my celebratory fireball, I guess. Now I have to like get the assholes that are the tree skeletons. I don't know what to call them. There was a second... Also, don't forget to talk to her. You banished those two hollows, did you? It probably doesn't matter for your character, but... trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here. These belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Replenishment? Oh, I don't think I can use that. No, you can't. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. That is such a relief. Isn't that true? Whew! I mean, I will say that's one thing about games that are hard like this, is that when you finally get it, it's like, yes! Even, even people's voice is scary here, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have it much easier against these guys than I do. I mean, I can use my lightning spear, but I'd rather not. Why did it? I lost my targeting. Ugh. There's like three of them. Ugh. Sure is. Will you look at the auto mod? Somebody says they're getting auto modded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, man. It made me traumatized. <laughs> auto mod is the only thing that I can try games. <laughs> hey, it's the fingering guy. Oh my god, it kinda is. Ah! I had about the same reaction to it, too. Screamed and ran. Like, once I knew that it was here, this, this, this one's not too bad for my character. 
Like, I could see, like, my previous character. This guy would have been a bitch. Having reach is a huge benefit. Hello, Raven! How you doing? And welcome to the Dazzle. Okay. I think that what's most annoying is, is knowing that I got here and <laughs> was like, oh, it's a dead end. And didn't even think to, like, try to, <laughs> like, break the wall. I think that's the worst part was that I did it, like, mad crazy dash, got through, and then it's like, uh, yeah, but... So, there, there's that. <laughs> Uh, to the right leads you back to the uh, bonfire on the way forward. Here? Uh, no, 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 the no. way you were going. No. Oh, well then why did- <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed- I didn't even register which direction. I just assumed that since you were uh, giving me directions that I was going the wrong way. So, am I- Oh, it looks like there's a- I can go say hi to my bonfire and get some more. I don't say hit points. That's not it. Um, drinks. We'll I can get, get some hit points. I can get. I can get my alcohol. <laughs> I think I want to like make this one better. Uh, do I even have much in the way of? So I have a couple twin humanities, so I could just do it twice. Is that a big spider? Well, you would have to. Uh, you I would didn't have to. I see a big spider. I would have to what? You'd have to become human and then. Um, oh, kindle. that's right. So I can only do it once. I always forget that you have to like unhollow to accomplish anything. So using one of these would let me do it once. Well, 10 is better than, like, 5. Oh, posture check. Thank you, Raven. I'm definitely being hunchback and work Dom again. Still, some more. Always. Uh, and then Kindle, and that should give me more drinks. And more water in the face hole. Thank you, Crazy Green. And all that, like, crazy-ass effort, and I have $17.50 for souls. I think sometimes that's the most painful part about playing this game, is that the areas that are the most difficult often have the least amount of reward because I lose my souls. All right. So if I just go this way. Um. Thing is, I don't know that we can go forward from here. Um. Oh, where does this take me? Yes. Huh? Well, death. everywhere takes me death. I can just tell you with 100% certainty, dropping down there will not end well for you. I'm going to say, there's a bunch of dudes down there. There sure are. Like... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Hey, I'll try and drop a summon sign down there since you're human again. Um... I mean, yeah, the worst thing you can do is say no, I guess. Okay, now, if I was there, I would absolutely not take my humanity back because I would die immediately. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, are um, you still looking for humanity? <laughs> well, I, ha I have my humanity uh, for the moment. I was just using it to uh, kindle my fire so I could get ten of the Eustace or Yust or I would say that fucking... Estus? Estus. 
Eustace. It's a, it, his name is Eustace. That's the name of my magical bottle. And hi, Dad. How you doing? Welcome to the Dazzle. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that I'm excited about going this direction. Yeah. Um. And that's just a dead end. That look like the skeleton from Minecraft. I mean, you're not wrong. All right. Let's try and get you out of here. Uh, you can go up that hill. There will be big skeletons. Oh. Ah! I didn't get shot with an arrow. I got impaled with a javelin. Two in that room. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, no! Please, yes, let us out of here. <laughs> I feel that in my soul. In my dark, dark so Yeah, this the arrow went straight to the ass. <laughs> like, just... <poof. laughs> and it's so huge. It's like, as long as my leg. Up the hill. Up the hill. Left. Ouch! Ow, 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 ow! Might be able to fight these guys one at a time if you get the one on the right first with fire. Like draw him to you. Mr. Skeleton, then I get out of dude doing hell. Okay, now he's doing it on purpose, right? Okay, so then I gotta change to my other fireball. Skills, I'm something. <laughs> I think that my heart rate is 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm level 390. 
97 on Dark Souls. Welcome to whatever this clusterfuck is, and welcome to the Dazzle. How you doing? <laughs> I'm a noob in Dark Souls, and it's kicking my ass. Hey, you okay. got that ladder to the, uh, to the side there. Uh, where the fuck was the ladder? Jesus you Christ. You were looking right at it a moment ago. Oh, that means nothing. The fire's <laughs> out. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> God, I went back and watched that clip, and I was just like, it's it's definitely lit. It's right there. Like, what the hell? Brain. <laughs> okay. So uh, do I up the drop hill. Down and get that? Uh, I mean, you can, yeah. You, it's easy to get back up there. I was thinking more of, was there going to be a surprise? Not that this game ever has surprises if you drop right. down at things. This game never does surprises. <laughs> you know, like, giant skeletons in the dark. And weird skeleton totems. Uh, let go of L1 so you can get that off your screen. There you go. <laughs> I have death. That is really cute. It's something. All right. So instead of uh, okay, so you want to go back up the hill. There's there's a hill back where you were. <sighs> this game has me so paranoid. Anytime I see loot, I'm like, all right, what's the catch? Who's gonna drop a rock on me or something? And you can drop down from there. That brings us back to where Pinwheel was. Okay. And if you go around to the right, that's the way you're facing. Surprise um, in this game? Absolutely no, right? <laughs> you can run up the, uh, the side there, and that will bring you back out towards um, the catacombs. This place has been brutal. It has been. Um, so you're gonna have to deal with the pinwheel assholes here. The. Am I jumping off this? Yes. And am I going right or left? Uh, should be going right. But you're gonna have a bunch of those rolly pinwheel assholes okay. to deal with. So don't go too far at once. Try and. Get them one at a time, or just run through it. Sure. Good luck. How oh, where's your sense of adventure? I'm, you know, you like a challenge? Go for it. Um... <laughs> Everything's fine. walk right yeah his sense of direction is insane and i have none so it really feels like a superpower to me <laughs> all right so we were going this way i think i remember that much we've done this enough times now <laughs> i mean i mostly made it <laughs> get shot in the ass. What happened? <laughs> if you're really quick, you could just run to the ladder. I mean, we tried that. It didn't go so great. <sighs> uh, fighting them sucks, though. Why 
Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I would have a notepad in front of me to draw a map while playing a game like this. I mean, if you have map making skills, that would be super helpful. I have done. Oh, Mr. Skeleton is having a better attitude. <laughs> He's having something. Gets headbutt. Oh, look, I have a, I have a sword now. <laughs> Not really, but doesn't it look like it? <laughs> oh, let's see if I can just maybe run past these guys this time. I don't know. I love Dark Souls. I mean, it's definitely been an adventure. Okay, take my words back. <laughs> They're all about, like, you must die. Yeah. So it's on the left side of the room, right? Yep. Hi, right, guys! This should be luck. Remember, you can't grab the ladder if you're holding L1, so you have to let go of it. Oh, uh... okay. I think that's what happened to me the first time I tried. I absolutely hate Dark Souls. This thing really hurts my brain. <laughs> oh, wait! No! Um, don't push the run button first. It makes you jump back. Just because we didn't have enough, like, anxiety and stress, we'll just do that part again. So now this is where I jump off the edge? Yes. And it's this hill I'm going up, I believe. Mm-hmm. So I will caution you again to try <laughs> and get the pinwheel guys one at a time instead of trying to run all the way through them when you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Friendly suggestion. Where's your sense of adventure? This is my sense of how the hell do we get the pig back above ground? He says this like having one at a time or two at a time, I'm going to magically be able to like. Oh, well, I thought you were maybe going to fight them, but okay. Uh, when you get to a big hill in the center, you're gonna go left. Oh, you wanted me to, like, fight and kill him? Fuck that shit. Okay. Let's keep running through there. There's gonna be two skeletons with bows, so go right. Yep. That's fine! Everything's fine! Ladder behind you. The other side of that room. We'll make use of that ladder. <laughs> the people who is not depressed and want to try because I feel you should play this guy in games. Bro, you should be a voice actor. That is cool. <laughs> the best choice is to run away. <sighs> oh, dear Lord. Let me try to catch up to where you're hiding now. Um, that is certainly one way you could go to get uh, up. Um... I mean, we're here now. Yeah, you are here now. Um, choices were made, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, choices were definitely made. 
you you made your choice. <laughs> and it sure as hell was an interesting one. Um, okay. Okay. So. Was there a different way to go through that room? I mean, there's a, there a way to get to the bonfire that's back up here. Um, which you still could, but, um, let's, let's YOLO this. Why not? That um, man is suffering. Oh, man. The amount of patience that Stax has. <laughs> okay, so in that room in front of you, there should still be skeletons, and there are the holes in the floor. So... See, okay, so they're not skeletons, but you see the holes in the floor, so I avoid see the those. Holes in the floor. There's a ladder there where that orange uh, text is. Like, most people don't get the benefit of, like, a friendly guide as they go through this game the first time. Okay, now is as you exit that room. Here? Uh, no, I don't think there is. It looks like it. Let's just do a lap for good measure, I guess. Of course. Um, as you exit that room, you're going to want to go left. This poor bastard deals with my, like, impulsivity like a pro. <laughs> Which is, like, a good portion of why I struggle so much in Dark Souls, because I just, like, ah! I don't, I don't plan, I don't think about it. I just, I just charge and forth and do. Okay, uh, let me, let me charge ahead here on my game and make sure I know where I'm sending you. The man who is talking, I don't know your name, but man, I love you. <laughs> well, the man that is talking is Stax and he is one of the mods of the channel. He's also one of my like real life friends. He's, he's amazing. And die again and again. Yes, I do. I die again and again. I like, I just like impulsively charge forward. And this is just how I take on every game. And he's like got a very strategic planning brain. <laughs> I just don't. I'm like, ah, what's the worst that can happen? Let's just do it. And I just like pull in a china shop boldly, just bah! And most of the time it bites me in the ass. I mean, once in a great while, uh, a game will reward me for just, like, balls in doing it. But, m yeah, no, most of the time I just, like, get my ass whooped. <laughs> okay. Um, Which is why I goes... usually go with melee characters and, like, lots of, like, tanky kind of uh, skill sets. So I didn't expect this character to be the build that would be a better fit, but... It has been nice to have some dynamic options. I agree. I play like, play like that too. I just jump in and figure out what I should do later. Uh-huh. Then it's totally me. And I have the observation level of like, I don't know, a squirrel. And I, I think a squirrel actually would do better. That's not fair to the squirrel. Um, <laughs> if you're not bleeding or have a broken bone, I'm not going, I'm not going to notice. So like all the times that there's like they show you that the mob is there up at the top, I, I don't notice. I just, like, run under the bridge and get my ass fireballed or, like, arrowed because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right. So you're going to have a... I think you still have a summoner alive in this area, so this is going to be fun. So you want to go up to the right and follow the path. Some of these statues may be spikers, I don't remember. Um, but you shouldn't have to get too close to any of them. I'm just gonna assume they all are and call it a day. You're gonna have skeletons in the room around the right here. If you just go up the hill, yeah. Up the hill? Well, up oh. the stairs, whatever. There's a swirling staircase in that room. Gotcha. I just had to get it turned around enough to see what you're talking about. I was yep. like, there's a hill? Yep. If you go up that and run straight ahead, you'll be able to follow that right to the bonfire. Remember, of course, the spikes in the doorway. I actually did! There you go. Guys, guys, we're at the fire! 
Let's it be the fire. <laughs> they can jump. Yes, they can. They will pounce and stab your ass without mercy. It is terrible. They're just they're just awful all around. Awful. Ah. They sure are. All right, so okay, we're here. Well, now we can get out of here. <laughs> so the fire serves as like your game resting place. It's where you level up. It's where you heal. It's where you save. Um, it's where you get a chance to like kind of be safe because when you're in your fire menu, they don't like beat you up. So it's kind of your reprieve from this hellscape. <laughs> A much needed reprieve location. So I mean it's nice because it gives you a safe place to Change like complete. look at equipment and look at your skills and you know all that kind of stuff. Alright, so uh, where are we going from here? Alright. So how do we get out of here? Um We gotta go through this doorway to the right. At least you can just stand for a sec, drink some water, and take a breath from all the stress. Exactly. I think this game would be unplayable if it didn't have those bonfires that were little sanctuary spots. Because yeah, I would feel winding staircase. beyond stressed out if every time I needed to look at my equipment, there was the possibility of being backstabbed by one of the mobs. That would be just... Oh my god, that would be awful. So I'm going up this way? Yes. Well, I'm gonna, like, do that. I just got stabbed! Frickin' <laughs> game! Thanks for the treasure, I guess. Skeleton just spot behind you. You got it. I can kind of stun lock them. <laughs> yeah? Okay. <laughs> it um, won't be backstabbed. It will be ass stabbed. Right? <laughs> Alright. So we want to go across this bridge. Mindful of these exploding skulls. We're going to go up those small stairs. And fight our way through there. Especially these skeletons. I don't feel safe around them. You should never feel safe about around anything in this game. Uh, yeah, straightforward drops you down a little bit. Um, not. Fire. So I'm following where that skeleton is. Um, no. Back there. Oh, it involves killing these ones. Alright, so the only other way to go is this way, if I'm not going that way. Uh, most likely, yes. Okay, should we get there? a little bit too far away when I tried to poke him, so my, my nothingness just did suck. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna poke the air. It's fine. But man, I showed that air who's boss. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Am I going out? I, I think you. No, I think you just turned yourself around. Um. Well, that would never happen. Right. So I'm going back okay. the way I came. Uh, we have a skeleton in the school, and now I am traumatized. I will never see it the same. You're gonna, you're gonna constantly give it a side eye, and wait for it to stab you in the ass. All right, forward. This should go around to the right. Yep, goes up these small stairs, and if you take a slight right again under that archway, um, you should be going downstairs or down hills, and try to go along the way. Yeah, where that opening is, you want to run there. I'd have more to deal with, I can't remember. I've gotten better about my timing in combat, but man, it's still brutal. This game is like... 90% just like knowing the timing and rhythm of the combat. And being able to execute it well. And well, my sense of rhythm is sketchy! stabbed that one, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Um, see that small doorway? Yep. Well, I figured I was going to attack the one that was shooting me. Oh, well, that too, yes. But that is the way you want to go. I'm like, I don't know where I need to go next, but I'm definitely not going to just stand here and let him shoot me. Object! Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Fuck sticks. I think it's 90% luck, right? <laughs> I'm sure... I will make sure not to let any kind of arrows in school, right? <laughs> hey, at least we made it to the fire, fire, so I don't have to, like, say hi to the giants again. Right. Ugh. <sighs> At least I remember the stab war. The dude was taking a pose and getting ready to hit, right? Uh. Nope. Houston. Yeah, no, <laughs> the, the other way. Your other right. Houston, I might have, I might have, I might have made a mistake. Ah, oh, fuck you! <laughs> Fucking game. <laughs> Damn statue. Alright, now we're going up here. I love how I just ended up on this, like, little precipice. I'm sure that's totally the way I need to be. <laughs> gonna have one behind you as well. I love that for me. I have, like, shit camera. Can you, like... Well, alright. It's not quite what I was, uh, hoping for in life, but... Yes, goat. I 
I do. I swear you get into like coach mode. <laughs> yep. We need a Lego fall sound for that, <laughs> right? Toss up the link, just a second. That's our magic discord. his head. I should have been able to just shoot him in the head. Game robbed me a fireball. Okay, yeah, so if you drop down there... Um... I know absolutely nothing about Discord, to be honest, and not much about Twitch, but I joined it. <laughs> it's another place we hang out and engage in shenanigans. I go through that door? Small door, yes. Hey, look, there's my souls, guys. They put their head back on. It just will forever entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's just like a hat. Just whoop. <laughs> you got one more up the hill. You're like, stop being amused by the skeleton's head and keep fighting. Okay. I just know where you have your camera angled downward all I totally the time. Didn't that see. You were never gonna see it. <laughs> it does like tend to make me look at the dirt. I don't I don't know why yeah. I always end up doing that. But that is definitely a thing in my life. I'm pretty sure there's guys in here. There are. Exactly. Like, why would there not the be right. skeletons here? I'm going through that. Yep. Oh, that's 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 the bonfire. We like bonfires. You hear that sound every time you get near a bonfire? That's like your that's your beacon of hope. I. You know, you you tell you've told me before there's a sound, but I don't hear it. <laughs> It never registers to me. If there is a me, bathroom let me, let me in this... Let turn your stream volume up. There's a bathroom in this game. I'm pretty sure there's a skeleton snake in it. Right? 
And it might be, yeah, that it's just getting swallowed. What is my dude doing? Like. <laughs> I'm, I'm not pushing uh, any buttons. So just it like... is definitely there, but you're probably hearing, you're not hearing it over the music. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's probably just getting swallowed up by other layers of things. But like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I think you can see I'm not pushing any buttons and yet he's, I don't know, he's, he's doing something. <laughs> he's got like antsy squats going on. All right. <laughs> that means there's going to be jerks in here again. Using now we can get you back up to the surface. And, oh, the bonfire oh, reset baddies. Broke his stand normally after what he's seen. I mean, that's fair. He's all twitchy now. Oh, and this is that introduction pit. Looks like something I should be able to loot. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> it's a lion, Jimmy! I guess. Jimmy! Die! Die the thing! Die! <laughs> Die! I'll just play football with it. Say, ah, uh, like that. It even has an ego, right? <laughs> like, we can even get a good look around here now. I'm saying there's a ladder up here somewhere. And there's gonna be a dude at the top, I reckon. Oh, he must have already jumped down. gonna take me out to the cemetery. I believe, I believe! And I love that the cemetery gives you, like, one big skeleton there as, like, a, hey, you know, there's gonna be assholes that are just so fun to play with here. Yeah, I wouldn't mess around with them. Well, actually, I don't think they're gonna spawn behind me, so you should be fine. It's like they shouldn't come up behind me. Oh. And these ones don't, like, get back up. So it's, 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 they're the better ones. Oh. I mean... This place is only, like, relatively better. Oh, wait, I wrote it wrong. You mean Echo. Gotcha, gotcha. Finally, sunlight! <laughs> yes. Yes, the sun!
All right, now we're gonna go to what I am confident was making the weird noises that I was telling you about. Where there's that weird, is he still here? There was like, no he's, yeah, there he is. Like, what is that? Nothing. I'm sure that at some point he's just gonna like, eat me when I walk by him. Because you can't tell me that that isn't somehow hostile. I mean, I have I, been walking I by can. him. I can. I don't think you're going to believe I'm me. I'm not going to believe you. Okay, I normally don't get scared of games, but when the game had that kind of sound, hell no. Mm -hmm. Hell no. I mean, All right. you know that he's just going to like... Yeah, it was the chewing. Yes, hear the chewing? Is that a snake fish and human teeth? Yeah, I think it's kind of a snake fish with human teeth. And the crow that delivered me here just yeah, I don't. And rabbit ears, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, let let's get you somewhere where you can actually use a bonfire, because I'm pretty sure the one here Oh, actually, yes, also him. Yes, he's the one that I talked to to get my things. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I have never seen anything like it. Ah, uh, sure. Let's talk, to dude. Oh yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate him myself. Only with death once again. How is he sitting there very peacefully? I, I don't know. Like, I don't... Oh, he has... Oh, this time he now has... Nice, nice, nice. He has spells for me! I mean, not that I have any money, but... Uh, how much do you have? I think you... I can't see how many souls you have up in the top right. I have 4250. I'm trying to tell how much it costs. Required souls on the right. But if there's. Oh, this One. slot, it matches across. Okay, I'm just slow. It's fine. So. Mm -hmm, I can't get all of them. Don't I already have fireball? Or is it that I have fire orb? You right. have fireball. Be safe, he just, he has another one he can sell you that won't do anything for you. Oh, okay. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate him. <laughs> I don't get how, right? I, I don't know. He's just, he's just totally vibing. Uh, I guess I will get something, uh, what does that mean, 16 slots? Uh, it means you can cast it 16 times. It's not a very good spell, but oh, I mean... okay. So it's a low, yeah. a low cost. Well, you can also, uh, hit X and it will tell you what it does. For the most basic. Well, I figured it wasn't super strong if it only costs 500. I mean... Well, why are the face all? Thank you, Morsan. Norsan, not more. And, um, you know, almost the same thing. Well, I guess. It gives me an option. Well, I got... I don't know. Iron Flesh, use permanent... Exceedingly heavy and unable to move freely. So this makes you stronger. It's like it's armor, but comes at mobility. All right. Intense sweating reduces flame damage. Um, that's weird. 
I can just like sweat like crazy and not get burned so bad. <laughs> I can call you Nosa. I may or may not remember that. But good to know. And he doesn't teach me a, uh, a rather pose. primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture. And pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, uh for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> Why are we unsavory, man? She's so rude. Is there any arrows so you can let the skeleton taste it a bit? Um, I'm not particularly... Yes, there are arrows, but I'm not particularly set up to be a ranged with bow. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able And do I need to talk to him, I think, to be able to do my equipment? I don't remember. To do what with your equipment? To, like... Um, well, you need souls, which you just spent. Uh, no, so. I was trying to remember how to, like, change what spells I had equipped. Oh, you do that at a bonfire. At a bonfire, okay. It's which like, I figured I it out once, but, but that was a while ago. You want to go up the stairs and, uh, towards the blacksmith, basically. So, not those stairs. I say, no, I go towards the church. Yep. Yeah. I'm going towards the blacksmith. That's the church. Yep. I vaguely remember he's in the vague direction of the church, but that's it. That's all I got. I mean, it's not like I actually know how to get to him, but I did find him once on my own. That's why I have a plus three halberd. And I don't know what my, I think it's my armor is all plus two. I was like, upgrading my stoof sounds like good. In this kind of game, sweetie, we're all gonna forget, right? <laughs> I have no sense of direction. I think that I go straight across here. Yep, if you go to the left, you can talk to um, someone. Oh, there's a person there now. That's new. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted. For it was not within my power to save oh, you. Oh, she's the dude that we helped with her buddies. Thank you enough. Yep. In case you have not heard. And I am Rhea of Finally, Ireland. finally, I finally, finally, finally. I can get I great heal. Yes. Yes. Okay. <sighs> the art of miracles. That's good. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. You <laughs> hear that girl's voice? <laughs> if it will be of any help to you. I would be most pleased if that was so. May we discuss miracles then? I mean, I love miracles, but I don't think that you're gonna actually give me anything I can use. No, definitely not. Then be safe. Farewell, Marian Knox. Hey, Daring Gaming, how you doing? And hey, Uthgar! Yay, signal for a bit. Hi, hello. May you die many times and epically. Hi. <laughs> That's a greeting. <laughs> Glad to hear that you're doing well, Daring. Miracle in hell. I don't think so, right? <laughs> um, It's like cleric spells, which I am not they're equipped for. I forgot there was a second dude here. Ugh. And the third one's really gonna be a surprise. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'll just, like, go stab him. Oh, well, don't be jumping around. That's rude. Oh, we, we, we have a summoning. A summoning. Fill out my 
my suit. And then it won't look so like baggy on me. <laughs> oh. So you guys are, are, are looking awesome. Glad, glad to hear that you're staying awesome. Um, uh, I never know what else to say. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And make sure you keep being awesome. All right? Okay. Bye. <laughs> that is sad. <laughs> He is, he is one of the two mascots for the channel. We have Zed and Otis. Otis is, well... He's the spicy pig. Yeah, we'll go with spicy. I think I just run across here, and then he's down on the lower level, I think, is where the blacksmith is, right? Yep. Holy shit, I actually remembered where something was. I mean, like, not specifically, but, like, as I went along, went, look, I think it's this way. Okay, we needed that after this game, at least. <laughs> I get a little less traumatized. <laughs> All right, we are at this bonfire now. Are you going to have me go out there? Eventually. Uh... I mean, Yep. Now? Sure. Okay. I mean, unless you want to go see Andre for anything, but... I don't have anything just to give him. Okay. Oh, I... If I make myself fat, can you, like, come play? Uh, I can. It's just a matter of... You would have to summon me closer to the end of this bridge, I believe. Well, I still have to make myself fat here. Yes. I don't have, have very go... much human left. You would have to go in there. In... I would have to go in where? What? Into the building at the... Oh, well, you don't oh, okay. have to go all the way in, but... Oh, we got a purple unicorn. All right, let's see. Done a ch hat change in a while. You guys get to see my crazy hair. Get to see my crazy unicorn hair. Woo. It's always interesting to get the headphones to sit with the, like, ears of some of these hats. <laughs> they definitely were not, like, made with headphones in mind. <laughs> I have nice hair. Oh, well, thanks. It, it definitely has a mind of its own and always sticks up straight. And now I have an extra... So I could, like, kindle this fire, right? Yeah. We can go one more now that we talked to talked to. Now that we dominated that mass person. Yeah, we told him he's boss. There, yeah, alright. I was confused. How would you put the headphone? <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, there's like and, and art to like, you just gotta kind of pull the ears forward a little bit and they sit a little bit on top of the ears so they stay on my head. And then there's some of them that you have to like put the, yeah, it depends on the hat. <laughs> there's been a lot of trial and error with these hats. Because <laughs> they definitely were not um, made with headphones in mind. It is very important that you do not charge into that building. Yeah, I know. I I've okay. visited this building once. Okay. It then didn't you know, go well. I yeah, died. You know what's happening right at the very front of it then. You can step like two steps into it and my summon sign should be there. <laughs> okay. But it, 
but it won't show up until you're in it, I don't think. I, I don't specifically remember, but I, I know that I got my ass kicked. You'll here. want to hold your shield up. Really, could you there see was that? Like where it rises up a little bit? Guys who charged or something. Hold your shield up. I got my shield up. Okay. Oh, they didn't <laughs> charge. Yeah, they I'm shoot. watching you okay. inch closer to that. <laughs> I was going to say, I couldn't remember. I knew that there was some... All right! Come forth, glorious murder homo, death goddess, princess, whatever you are. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I don't know. My ally, glorious ally. Yeah, I like totally charged in here oh. the first time and got my ass like shot. <laughs> and then these guys. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. They suck. Hopefully I take one, you take the other, it should be fine. Wow, that definitely Excellent. went better than my first adventure into this place. Okay. Yes, oh, Ally here to save the day. Yep. Well, this will be fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just watching you do this. This will be real fun. Oh man. This is this is. Brr. Okay, this too much. There were skeletons. We say okay, but this human snake head is just no, right? All right. Okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. This place sucks balls! Am I even going the right way? Yep, that's where yep, you are. Yep, you are, you are. I'm at the end of the bridge. I just figured, you. you know, before <laughs> I got too gun ho down this hall, or yep. bridge, or whatever this hellscape should be called. Ah! <clears throat> ah! I almost yeeted up the edge. Oh my goodness. That was stressful. Mm -hmm. This place is gonna suck balls a lot. I can I can see this already. Yeah, don't fall. <laughs> Jesus. I have a fireball. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Do not go out onto that path. I don't know how far you've been to this place, but... Uh, I have not. I got killed by the snakes at the entrance. Oh, there's... There's a rock! Yep. Of course! Yep, we're, we're gonna wait for one more to go. So, you know what this... So, I'm a little closer. Um, so, we're gonna have to sprint. Left it up the stairs. Left it up the stairs, alright. Nope. And then to the left where I go. <sighs> to the uh, fog gate, if you can. You're trying to give me a stroke. I can't get through. Shit, back in here. There you go. I'm in the okay. niche. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My, my snake, right? <laughs> that was so close. It was. It's all like 
This is gonna be defining of this place. It's like. Uh, hold on. I'll catch up here in a sec. This is gonna give us all a stroke, right? Where did you go? Right here. Okay. So, you see where... So, you have to keep an eye on the floor in this place. You see where that's raised up a little bit? Mm-hmm. That's another trap. And if you look behind you, you see where the uh, trap springs from. So, why don't you stand over here? Gonna do this. Oh, that sucks. That works. Take that, cope right in the butt. Dig it right in the ass, you like it. I mean, they do build these locations with great care. The freaking ragdoll that attaches himself to you. Does it go off more than once? No. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, okay, so... I mean, these places are built with a great attention to detail, and I really appreciate like how well the universes are built. You know, the, the locations are both, but man, they're brutal. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go deal with uh, the snake person that barely here, here. Or maybe. On my finest moment. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> we made a great pair. It's fine. Yep. I love how, like, it says you're vanquished and not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> All right, we got one, like, summon you back are we are we going are we going with this or are we just gonna call it like, uh sure wander around all right Oop. yeah i'll pull up duck see how far we can make it in the next like half hour or so i feel like we made pretty decent progress tonight all things considered and i can't kindle this again no. Oh, Should can I? Maybe you can. All right, it will let me. Fabulous. Then I might as well use that and... All right, fantastic. I love that for me. I mean, not that having the healing bottle is that make or break in this place because, you know, giant stone squish you once. I mean... You know, that's besides the point. I got to go. I really enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much for making my day. Oh, well, thank you for coming and hanging out with us. I hope that you have a fabulous night. You should be able to summon me. I should be right there. I was saying, I don't, I don't see any. You peeing on the ground or what? I definitely put it down. Uh, give me a moment. You're like, I got squished by a rock. Screw you. I'm staying home. <laughs> now we're coming back to have a look at it. Definitely there, but we just... Place it down. I mean, the game would never be weird about it being here.
Let's look at it with our with our skelly light. Maybe that'll make a difference, right? Yeah, no. No? Hmm. Oh, there you are. All right, cool. It just took its dear sweet time. Uh, it sure did. It's super moody. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Come on out, hello. Please stop playing hide and seek with me. I'm losing. You win. I call uncle. You're very good at hiding. Hello. Serpent Greatsword. How much do you want to bet I don't have the strength for that shit? <laughs> oh, there was a soul back there I didn't see before. Oh, look! I get to do this kerfuffle again. How much do I love that? more dramatic, right? You just, like, push through this as I, like, cautiously... cry inside... and <laughs> going through there. but I got myself murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> that happened. Of all the things that have ever happened, that was one of them. Uh, and I, I have, I have no, I have no more humanity, so I get to like just dive into this shit show solo. That's fine. Everything's fine. We love that. Yeah. <laughs> you really just can't leave me unattended for a minute. I'm like a toddler. I just like can't be like wait but he's dead and make my spell stop
I'm sure this will just go awesome now. Good to see her. Your poor innocent unicorn eyes have been traumatized. <laughs> this game is the definition of immaculate level design. I mean, it really, it really does have like good world building. I will give it that. I mean, brutal <laughs> world building, but it is really well done. And hello, Spidex. How you doing? really jump. I don't like that. Let's go! Right? <laughs> Hello, Killjoy. How you doing? We need to give this human snake a name. Sylvester! <laughs> Shout out, what we up to your uh, uh, toad? And I'm doing something wrong. It'll be five days, I'll figure it out eventually. You know, it's fine, it's fine. That's a little sinister. Apex Legends. Ooh, were you winning? I 
I, I've not played the game, but I think that it's like a PvP. What is this raid thing? That is when a, another stream ends and they choose to take their viewers to another stream. Not really, at least I, <laughs> I was bad. Oh no. <laughs> Well, then you've come to the right place. Here's where a lot of dying's happening. <laughs> I don't even know how many deaths I've had. <laughs> this is my first introduction. Oh, I got fried that time. And it has definitely been a brutal game. I should drink before I engage with this guy. See if I can get a couple. Well, maybe. hard as fuck. Oh, well. <laughs> also, Toad says hi, but he's going to bed. Oh, that's totally fair. Oh, well, all right. So, <laughs> that's, that's where I, I am. I'm calling it for the night. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so much stuff and dying. This game. Oh, man. This game is so brutal. <sighs> because it's just about that magic time and oh my goodness oh <sighs> so i will say that having changed to this other character to the pyromancer has made a big difference and has made it a lot easier to play so i have definitely enjoyed it more since then and hey dude thanks for coming and hanging out sylvester if he didn't kill you the sword he'd kill you on his neck right <laughs> So thank you everybody for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did as well. Um, thank you for all of the uh, support. Uh, no, I've not played anything in Dark Souls. This is my first adventure into uh, the whole Dark Souls world. And yeah, Norsan, this is the, the second tune that I tried out and... I played the Deprived first, and it was absolutely the brutalist experience, and I switched to a Pyromancer, and it has been a lot easier to play than the Deprived was, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is the easier version. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody, for all of the support. We need the Duck Pool game again, <laughs> right? Uh, we'll have to look and see when we can do ducks and chatting again. We'll definitely have to put some chat streams back in. I've definitely gotten feedback that people have missed just chilling and chatting. So, special thank you for those who have done donations. We really appreciate that. Uh, you'll never try Dark Souls. <laughs> I mean, it's really brutal, but it has been really fun. And thank you for the fan art. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all the creativity. If you go down into the about page, you're going to find some stuff there. One of them is a picture of a green dragon. If you click on that, that will take you to Siri Skulk's page. And she is the artist that has done all the emotes and overlays for my channel. If you go to her page, you can see enlarged versions of the emotes that are on this channel. You can also see her other arting. She's amazing. You can commission her to do work for you if you're interested. Uh, you can also find a link that says buy me a coffee and that'll take you over to my coffee shop and it has quite a bit of different options there. You can um, look at photos of hats I've made. You can um, commission me to make you a hat. You can purchase crochet patterns. You can do one-time donations. You can do tiers of support like Patreon that give you different perks and benefits. So there's a lot going on and I'm slowly expanding it all the time. So definitely check that out. Um, we have a Discord and if you go on to the Discord let me, let me, let me, let me if I can type you can go into the channel for fan art and any art that is dropped into that chat. I did something wrong. Oh, can't type. 
Let's try that again. There we go. Any um, art dropped into the fan art channel will be included in this slideshow so people can see your awesome creativity. And I love seeing all of the uh, different adventures we've had expressed in your guys' artwork. So let me take a look and see who's on. I doubt anyone else is engaged in Dark Souls shenanigans. So let's see what else... What else is going on today? Um, I'm going to take you over to All Fun and Games. He's playing Don't Starve Together, which is another really hard game to master, but is a lot of fun and one that I greatly enjoy. And All Fun and Games is a lot of fun to play with, and he's one that is really good at helping people learn how to play Don't Starve. So um, we're going to go over there. We're going to throw three or four Doritos as usual. And today is Monday, so our next stream is tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which will be our um, Seven Days to Die with Twitch integration and um, mischief making. So if you want to come be a murder hobo and engage in chaos and mayhem, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time will be the day to do it here on Twitch. All right, so we can hang out again, guys. You be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye!